My name is uh, Professor Mukhtar Achyut Pura. I am presently the director of Kanastya Polytechnic. Uh, I am a professor of inorganic chemistry. Uh, I have been appointed to serve as director of this uh, great institution in the year 2016. Uh, I am really uh, for four good years leadership in this institution. And, uh, maybe in the course of the interview I will uh, inform you that it means that we have been a bit recorded. I was born in the year 1970 at Kurawakatas uh, here in Kano, Kano for local government. I attended my primary school at Masalachi Primary School uh, and I currently attended Islamia Primary School, Islamia Education uh, at the Yola Islamia Primary School. Uh, as it is traditional with the local community here in Kano, I was first enrolled in the Yola Islamia Primary School before the conventional primary school, which is primary, so that's primary school. So I was a year ahead in the Islamia school than my conventional primary school. That's why in the year 1981, uh, I was uh, actually engaged, or rather, I was invited to sit for the common interest examination. And Alhamdulillah, we were the first set of that Islamia school to attend or to attempt. My entrance examination, we were successful. I got admitted into government secondary school, Reno. Uh, that time it was a boarding school. Uh, stay here for only, stay there for only one year. In 1982, during the regime of uh, late Governor of Kano, Muhammad Abakar Rimi, secondary schools were devoted. Uh, were devoted. Whoever had a secondary school in his vicinity or in his uh, town were asked to come back to Kano. Continue with uh, our secondary school education as uh, day students. And at uh, that time, I was transferred from GSS Rono to GSS Open Nasara in the year 1982. And I stayed there also for only one year. And, uh, by the end of uh, 1983, or towards the middle of the year 1983, we were enrolled over. We sat for the examination of science secondary school examinations. And uh, luckily enough, Alhamdulillah, I was able to pass that examination. I was admitted to Science Secondary School Dwakintupa in the year 1983. I stayed there for three years. In the year 1986, we started for our work examination. During that time, there is no new call, so we started only for work examination. And uh, by the end of that year, 1986, I was admitted to Bayern University, Kano, where I stayed there, for, where I studied my BSc Chemistry for five years. Initially, we uh, enrolled in the pre-degree program, which has been discontinued now. Uh, we stayed there for pre-degree 1 and pre-degree 2, between 1986 to 1988. And then we were successful in our examinations. Uh, we were asked to continue the education where I was uh, admitted into study BSc Chemistry at Bayer University. Uh, I graduated in 1991 uh, among uh, the best graduating students. After my service here between 1991 and 92, I started to work in the Ministry of Education uh, as an education officer. And I was posted to Gundibul local government, or Gundibul zone, where I was posted to Gunduawa Secondary School. And uh, at that time, it's a junior secondary school, and uh, they don't have, or rather they have a deficiency, or rather inadequacy of math, math, math teachers, mathematics teachers, and I asked to teach mathematics in that uh, common secondary school, Gunduawa. And, uh, 1993, uh, Bayern University, being among the top graduating students, invited us for an interview. And uh, we were shortlisted, we were interviewed, and uh, we were later appointed as gra graduate assistants that same year, 1993. Uh, that was the beginning of my educational career. And, uh, I enrolled immediately for my master's program because it's part of the appointment conditions. But if you are appointed, you must have to start your master's program immediately. I started my master's program and I successfully completed it in 1999. And uh, at the same time, I was uh, teaching and uh, conducting research that at Bayer University College in the Department of Chemistry. Uh, I rose through the rank in that uh, institution from graduate assistant to assistant lecturer to lecturer two to lecturer one. And uh, in the year 2004, was uh, promoted to senior lecturer. Uh, Alhamdulillah, in the year 2005, I was able to get admission in the United Kingdom, precisely in the School of Chemistry, University of Bristol. Uh, during that time, Bayern University, Kano, 
uh, sponsored me jointly with the Kano State Government uh, to go and pursue my PhD. And in the year 2005, I started my PhD. And, uh, I was able to complete that within record time. Uh, I was three, three and a half years. I was able to complete my PhD program uh, in 2009. Uh, I was given an opportunity to stay there and continue to work there if I so wish. But uh, I felt uh, it's not proper. I've been sponsored with public funds, so I need to come back and contribute my quarter uh, in teaching and uh, research and institutions which have uh, sponsored me. And to serve Kano State Government, which have also jointly uh, sponsored my education from inception. Uh, immediately after two weeks, two weeks, immediately after my PhD Viber, I came back to Kano and I resumed my work as a senior lecturer in Bayern University Kano. And, uh, after a year or two, I was promoted to the rank of assistant lecturer in 2012. I'm delighted we continue to teach in that institution. And uh, by the year 2015, I was promoted to the rank of a uh, full professor of inorganic chemistry in the year 2015. Uh, in between, I have served in so many different capacities, uh, starting from the education officer at GSS Mundiwawa, uh, going back to Bayern University where I was appointed as a graduate assistant, I continued to rise through the rank, and uh, I served in many different capacities from level coordinator to assistant or deputy faculty examination officer to faculty examination officer. In the year 2011, when I came back from my PhD, I was appointed or I was elected to serve as the head of chemistry department. The name has been modified from chemistry department to department of pure industrial chemistry. So I served there as the head of the department for two years and then got re-elected in 2011-2013. In 2013, I was re-elected to continue to serve as the head of the department. In the year 2015, uh, I was elected to serve, uh, to serve as the Dean of Faculty of Science Bayer University Kano. Uh, that was in June, I, I can remember precisely. By, or rather, I served there as the Dean by, for just about 10 months, uh, which uh, at that time, which was uh, in March 2016, uh, to be more precise, uh, His Excellency Dr. Almar Ganduji uh, approved my appointment to serve as the Director this institution. And since that time I've been working here, I've been serving, uh, we have been trying all year around, around the clock to ensure that uh, the status of the concept of technique is lifted from where we found it to the status we, it is presently now. So in brief, this is just my brief biography, I concentrated on the educational and uh, uh, civil service career and there are a lot of other things that I've done on the background but most importantly this is my little biography depending on the education career up to the time I got promoted as a professor in organic chemistry. Uh, part of the challenges I faced in my life actually, uh, luckily enough, were not very many. Uh, but nevertheless, there is no success, there is no challenge. You have to face some challenges quietly before you can be able to cross them and uh, become successful. During my time as a primary school student, uh, make enough for a primary school that I attended, like I mentioned, is the Island near Primary School, the conventional Salachi Primary School. Uh, along the way, you find some bullies who are not attending schools and they try to prevent you from going to attend school as well. Uh, at a time, there was a time when I had to quarrel with one of these bull bullies and uh, who was always waiting for me to come from home in my, on my way to school. Uh, he will kind of uh, block the way, prevent me from having to remove access to the school. And uh, luckily enough, I had to confront him one time. And uh, that, was, uh, that was it. Th that time he was never there to put an obstacle for me in order not to be able to attend school. Uh, a lot of uh, my colleagues or a lot of my friends who have not been able to visit the place that I am, uh, actually been not being able to attend uh, schools that we were able. During that time, public schools were very, very good. I attended all public schools from my primary school to secondary school to uh, my top of my tertiary education by university, kind of, they are all public schools. Uh, even though at that time, people think that uh, education, the quality of education is much better than it is now. I think it is uh, right in saying so. When I went to Rano, actually Rano Town, secondary school, 
there was some serious shortage of water. Uh, a number of times you have to wake up at 3 a.m. in the morning for you to be able to get water that will allow you to live on the day, to, for you to go home with you, to bath, to wash your clothes, to wash your uniform. So you have to wake up in the middle of the night. So these are part of the challenges that uh, actually uh, we faced, but uh, luckily enough, instead of uh, allow, making us to slow down, it actually encourages us to do more. Uh, we stayed in Rano, there was no light in the school during that time, there was no running tap water. Uh, we have to go and fetch water, like I've been mentioned. And, uh, during night, the generators will be put on, and then later they will be switched off. For you to even go to the toilet, sometimes you have to go over the fence to go into the bush to satisfy yourself. So these are kind of the challenges that actually we passed during our secondary school education. Uh, when we come to the university system, uh, there are a shortage of uh, hostels uh, during our time. Sometimes it becomes difficult for you to get a room, but you can uh, stay on campus because it will be, life is much easier when you are on campus. You don't have to walk from home, you don't have to take taxi, you don't have to pass the rain and what have you. Uh, sometimes your friends who are who are able to get rooms will allow you to come and squat with them. Uh, luckily enough I'm like some of them are still together. They have contributed so much to our life, to the development that we have the success that we have recorded. But never that we still didn't forget these challenges that we have faced. Uh, during that time sometimes quite difficult to, for you to get enough money to use as transport uh, to food to get for feeding. Uh, Alhamdulillah, uh, my father who is a civil servant has uh, been there for us, me and my other brothers. Uh, even though we don't get enough to spend lavish, lavishly, but we have enough to be able to use to study and then improve our career. So these are just some part of the challenges that we have faced. And uh, later, when we finish our secondary school education, we have to go for NYSE. Uh, at that time, the country was more peaceful than it is now. And uh, I did my NYSE at uh, Imo State initially for my orientation. And then later, I was posted to Abia State because during that time, Imo well, Abia State was created from Imo State, and uh, I was posted to serve in one secondary school where there is also no running water in that town. We have to usually fetch rainwater for us to use for our pollution, for our food, for our food and what have you. Whatever you're going to have to use rainwater. And uh, remembering my days at Rano, uh, the changes that I faced where we don't have running water also, uh, it becomes a normal activity to me. Uh, we are even lucky because uh, there is so much rainfall in the southern part of this country than it is than there is in the northern part. So because of the ability of uh, the rainfall, some people are complaining that uh, there is no running uh, tap water. What are they going to do when the rain is over? Well, I'm just listening because I'm used to this hardship. I'm used to this challenge. And uh, later, uh, we were redeployed to Abuja, where I did completed my NYC assignment and came back to Kano. Uh, as part of the challenges, like I had mentioned, uh, the issue of uh, reading. Sometimes you want to read through the night, there will not be enough light for you to do so and uh, you have to use uh, a lantern. Uh, I believe most of the time now people don't know what lantern it is, have been passed out. We have mobile phones now with their touch line behind them or whatever. Uh, but uh, we did really have some serious challenges but uh, we were able to cross these challenges and uh, we have, this is why we found ourselves. Uh, like I've made mention, without these challenges it would have been difficult for you to make uh, many serious achievements. Yes. Uh, part of the achievements or successes that I have uh, recorded during my lifetime is uh, rather started when I was in the primary school. Around uh, July, I was a very hardworking student, a student. I was able to pass my examination successfully and excellently well. And, uh, started mentioned during my primary school education when I usually most of the time I came first in my class uh, my teachers used to take personal interest in me they used to guide me and uh, I became their favorite and, uh, when I came when I, when I was admitted to GSS Rano uh, the train continues I have a friend who have almost similar name with me my name is Mukhtar Atiba and he's Mukhtar Ali uh, sometimes 
when I became first in the class, he would come second, and uh, sometimes he became first and I would be second. So we are on top of the class almost always. We are still together with him. Yeah. Luckily enough, when we had our own conduct our examination, the science English school combined examination, I was a principal and uh, uh, was admitted to science English hospital that came too far. Being a hard working student, being the only student that I was, I still continue to work hard. I'm almost always on top of my class, together with my other colleagues. I finished that successfully, we finished our Sunday school. At that time, we realized that uh, whoever had problem during his Sunday education would probably not be able to do things well in his uh, later career. But along the line, we were able to complete our uh, Sunday school education successfully. After that, we uh, were admitted to Bayer University Kano. At like one time, back when I was in uh, level 3, I became the best level 3 student. I was awarded with a school university scholarship of uh, 1,000 Naira. Uh, that time, that was in 1991. 1,000 Naira was a very huge sum of money. I did a lot of things with it. It's part of the success. I got my parents, I got my brothers, and then got a lot of things with that 1,000 Naira. So, this is an achievement that actually put me on track. And, uh, when we graduated, we were among the most, all the top, ranking the top graduating students in the department. That's why we were invited back by the university and were appointed to serve uh, as lecturers. The term continues up to the time when I went to the United Kingdom to do my PhD. One time we were just sitting down in my office or in my laboratory, we were sitting. When we received an email that uh, I was uh, elected, or I was elected or selected, or I was ranked by the students. We didn't know, we didn't even know they were ranking us. Sometimes uh, in the United Kingdom or in other countries, uh, whenever you have contact with your students, you will be able to rank you. As part of the training that we had, apart from doing a PhD, apart from studying, we are asked to interact with students, of undergrad students, we are asked to teach them, uh, to supervise their laboratories. And uh, I became among the first four. PhD students that year, in the year 2009, uh, who are given an award of 250 pounds each uh, for being the best among all the PhD students in, the, in that department. And, uh, that I think qualifies for the offer that I received from that same department. Uh, they gave me an offer that if I so wish I can stay in the United Kingdom, continue with my working, I would, I would continue working uh, when I finish my PhD. Uh, well, I don't feel too comfortable being sponsored from public funds. I decided to come back to Kano, contribute my culture, continue teaching at the University of Kano, continue to serve Kano State, who have also uh, sponsored me for my education. Uh, luckily enough, when we come back to the department, continue for the successes that I mentioned earlier, uh, I was elected to serve as the head of the department. Among all my colleagues who have been there together, I was uh, chosen among them and uh, given that responsibility. Being able to coordinate and work well with people, uh, they appreciate what I've been doing and they nominate me to serve as the Dean of the Faculty of Science at the University of Kano. Luckily enough, Alhamdulillah, after just some months, like I mentioned earlier, His Excellency Dr. Abdullah Marganduji, Adam al Islam, the Governor of the Deputy of Kano State, Wanting me to serve as director of uh, Council of Polytechnic. Uh, when I came on board, when I came to Council of Polytechnic, there are a lot of things which are very troublesome, very heartbreaking. The situation, the situation is uh, nothing to write from about. But Alhamdulillah, with the cooperation of the staff, with the cooperation of the students, with the cooperation of the government, we are able to achieve a lot of things here in Council of Polytechnic. Uh, part of it includes the fact that uh, actually almost all the programs that are being run by this institution uh, lack accreditation. Uh, we found a situation where student results are not processed on time. Uh, we uh, made a backlog or rather a very huge burden uh, of uh, financial indebtedness of the institution. Uh, we met a casual staff of the institution who have not been paid for quite some time their allowances. So, we sat down together with the union, we sat down together with the management and we charted a course for this great institution. 
online internet marketing support of excellence is a getting donor we have been able to lift the situation from situation to situation from where we find it to much greater uh, heights as we are speaking now I started by achievement that we have recorded actually all the programs we run by this vision are full accreditation Apart from the future and program which are being supervised by the National Board for Technical Education, we are able to get the National Board for Education to approve an addition of uh, additional coaching programs which are mounted and uh, we are given into accreditation, uh, which makes the total of courses which are being run which are being supervised by the National Board for Education to be 66. Uh, on the other hand, we have there are courses which are being supervised by the National Commission for Colleges of Education, NCCE, uh, we have NC technical programs. I have six number of programs which have also been accredited now, making a total of 72 programs which have accreditation in terms of the uh, The issue of uh, students not receiving their results on time so that they can go and pursue their career, either educational career or they want to go into business or they want to continue their education, uh, the common sense of the past was the cooperation with the support of the academic staff, uh, all staff which are involved in personal results. We are able to send you that program or that pro uh, problem, and now students go to issue or are issued to them on leadership in the recurrent sector is especially it's an experience that uh, one need to harness. Uh, for that I serve as head of the department in chemistry in Bari University Kano. I also serve Dean of the country of science and university come uh, actually give me enough experience to serve as director of this institution. As a leader, you need to try and carry everybody along. So you need to be transparent, you need to come with an open heart. You need to have a focus, you need to set some challenges, some hurdles that you need to cross, you need to identify the goals that you want to achieve. Most importantly, you need to have support of your community. I came to this institution after a couple of experience in leadership and leadership. Uh, when I came, I actually, like I mentioned earlier, sat down with all the unions, every stakeholder, as far as the learning institution is concerned, and became my very good friend share opinions, we disagree, we agree, we disagree when we agree again on how best we can do this situation. Uh, but my most important guiding principle is the support that uh, understanding that I received from SNC the program organization. Being an education himself, a uh, person who is so keen Lifting current states education, I've never gone to him with a request or a problem. That request your attention and he said no to so being the leader that he is, gave me courage and inspiration to be able to do more for this institution. As part of the achievement, or rather part of the leadership that I'm able to showcase in this institution, we were identified by so many other government agencies. The fact that uh, we came and find a situation or an institution which has which was bedeviled by so many problems and uh, within the shortest possible time I went to overcome most of these problems. Made some other agencies to recognize concept of technique, to recognize the director of that institution and come itself. Uh, for example, the joint admission and matriculation board. The history of this institution as we are all aware very hardworking person, a very dedicated person who has transformed JAM to what it is today. Uh, when we went around the institutions in the, in the country, he came and visited us here uh, when we informed him of what we have been doing, what situation upon this institution, what we have been what we have done to alleviate some of these problems, he took some personal interest in me. And uh, the point he appointed me to serve as the chief Executive examiner for Kano. Whenever the examination are going to be conducted, I'm the chief examination officer for Kano and I'll go around to ensure that uh, the facilities are adequate 
for the crime mentioned. I want the crime to be being contacted. We need to go around to ensure that crime is reduced. Lately, as much as with no problems that will not know, be overcome. Uh, after that, he nominated my name to serve as a member of the governing board for Jam. So, as he is now, I'm a member of that uh, governing board, joint administration and matriculation board. Because of the leadership qualities that we uh, have uh, exercised here, the way we have uh, moved the institution, transformed the institution, National Board for Technical Education equally nominated my name. I was appointed to serve as a board member of that board, which is a regulatory body all over the country. Furthermore, I also serve as a member of the Governing Board of Home Materials as European Council in India. Because of the leadership politics that we are able to showcase, by this concern. I don't want to talk too much about myself, but uh, it is the unique relationship that we shared with the members of the Kodipotem 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 community who have been able to allow us to all these achievements for us to be able to identify good leaders in this uh, institution that makes this uh, cognition possible and appointments that uh, have been received from various main agencies of government Lucky enough, I mentioned, you want to be a good leader, you need to put yourself down, you need to work closely with uh, your subordinates so that you can be able to achieve your goals. Our aim is to ensure that the concept of Japanese uh, is no longer a problematic institution, becomes best among equals, and Alhamdulillah, we are on course. The fact that it has been ranked as a thieves, uh, all Japanese. Among all the sub polytechnics in the country, and then the number 17 polytechnics in all the polytechnics in the country, including federal, uh, state, and uh, private polytechnics, clear indication that uh, coming to the is now, of course. So, when you work hard, when you work apparently with your colleagues, when you work closely with your community, is a factor which makes you a good leader and uh, which will allow you to be able to achieve so many things as far as the exchange There are a lot of issues, there are a lot of challenges to develop in this sector that handle like culture for technology have been able to overcome a number or almost most of the problems that were uh, inflated. I know there was a time when the members of the academic staff in you know, the technique were about to go on strike certain conditions with uh, certain requirements that they needed to be met. Uh, when we sat down with them, we take a catalogue of all the problems. Uh, Council of Technical, we don't have a single one. All the problems that uh, warranted for the union to go on strike, uh, in Council of Technical, because of support of the community, political community, because of support of the residents of the governor, uh, those problems were not there at all. So they just went on a solidarity strike for a week or so, and they continued to or they come back to work and continue teaching their students. So this is an indication that uh, when you open up your mind, when you open your heart, when you work closely with your colleagues, you are able to achieve a lot in the educational sector. So that sector I need people who are up and doing, who are dedicated, who are honest and transparent. And that was I've been trying to adopt to ensure that you work transparently, you work honestly, you work very hard, and you can be able to achieve a lot of things. So the education sector is concerned and only line experience that we have gathered so far allow us to put a lot of achievements in terms of Part of it is the establishment of a macro finance bank for this great institution. In terms of the clinic, we have established our own macro finance bank because of support we have been enjoying from the community, because of support we have been enjoying from the community, community. And the alarm will that's a very important factor, uh, which is a complication. Every tertiary institution in the country Expected to matriculate students when they are admitted and expected to convocate students when they graduate. That convocation ceremony has not taken place for almost 20 years in Ghana. This is in Ghana's definition. Alhamdulillah, when we sat down together with my team, managing team, with our colleagues, with the polytechnic community, we made a case to set along to the executive governor. He gave us approval to conduct this uh, convocation. And, uh, early this year, we have been able to convocate our students. Uh, the governor telling us that uh, we should be able to do this 
communication regularly. We are, of course, to continue to work with all the stakeholders so that we ensure that at least a smooth or an institution runs smoothly with very little problems which cannot, which cannot be avoided. So, as to this leadership, uh, the things that are the experience that have uh, used, actually, or that are gathered from the Aero partners, uh, and some of the Dean and the uh, HOD, have uh, been very helpful, been very useful for me when I come to serve the rest of the country. Institution, Council of Polytechnic Institutions that I am heading to be among the top polytechnics in the country. Uh, as Ben mentioned, we are on course, but we need to do more. Uh, if you look around, you see a number of youths uh, actually either sitting down under sheds or hawking at traffic lights. My ambition, what I want to do, is to ensure that this youth get proper education so that they can be able to be useful to themselves and to their community. We don't want a community, we don't want a situation where our youth will be totally, totally ignorant of uh, what is going on. They will be uneducated and uh, they will be a menace to society. So my ambition, what I want to achieve, is to ensure that we open up the walls of this institution, we open up the borders, we take as many, as many youth as possible, so they can be able to either educate themselves or to acquire skills, and have skills that will allow them to be able to stand on their own. Polytechnics were established in order to allow whoever passes through them to be able to gather or to acquire enough skills that will allow them to either stand on their own or on their own so that they can be able to be useful to themselves and to their society. Uh, if you are hardworking and uh, if you are up and doing, on the path of the concept of technology, you will be able to gather skills, you will be able to acquire skills that will allow you, rather than waiting to be employed, you be the employer. In order of, rather than being a job seeker, you become an employer. So this is what I want to achieve in life. I want to make sure, I want to see that uh, the number of you who are running the streets doing nothing, the number of youths who are working in the uh, traffic life, the number of youths who are sitting down or changing shares from one to the other, is reduced to the bare minimum. So that this youth will be educated to their house use, they can be useful to themselves and to their communities. This is just some part of my ambition or what I want to achieve in life to ensure that uh, Kano Chef uh, among the leading for the community, to ensure that the youth who are roaming around in Kano Chef. Uh, no longer doing that, they have gathered and have acquired enough to be useful to themselves and to their community. Thank you. Government is providing education for primary and post primary education is now pre and compulsory in Kano State. Government pays salaries for all the staff who are involved in teaching. Uh, institution, uh, secondary, primary, and tertiary institutions, there is a need for wealthy individuals, for organizations to come into this sector to assist the government in providing facilities, in enhancing the teaching process so that people, or other youth, will be able to educate themselves. Uh, as part of my campaign to ensure that uh, the community is involved, I went round and uh, like it enough, one, uh, one time a speaker of uh, concert assembly, Honorable Rat, Honorable Kabir Alassan came to our aid and uh, built a wall uh, around one of our schools, which was uh, either to open and uh, prone to attacks, prone to insecurity. But uh, with the help of this speaker, we have been able to put a wall around this wall. So it is important that uh, the community also come into this sector. Apart from leaving government to do everything, from providing facilities, from paying the salary of the staff, from uh, providing uniform and food and food for students, community should also actively so also participate actively in ensuring that uh, those who require education are given enough and good quality education. 
it is important for our wealthy individual to please venture into this uh, process of uh, providing support to the government, to the candidates, or buy scholarship for those who are very good in their fields, uh, to see how best we can transform our society, to see how best kind of state government or kind of state will become uh, the envy of other states in the country. Uh, with the recent declaration by his, and implementation of the policy of the pre and compulsory education, it has now become compulsory for all students who are in the primary and post primary to attend schools and uh, to be educated. So we hope that, inshallah, if other members of the community will venture into this, we will be able to support the government so that a lot will be done, a lot of achievement will be made, and uh, the community will be educated. Uh, an educated community is a wealthy community. Uh, but little community is uh, allowed to, or youth are allowed to roam around uneducated, they become a nest to everybody. So it is important that we put hands together, join hands, so that we can be able to educate, to educate these youth, so that we can be able to transform them, so that the community will be free, safer, and a much happier community for everybody. Thank you. Yeah.